Right, you lovely people, welcome to the channel. So, what do we have today? Well, nobody's surprised that AH all of a sudden shows up in Madrid walking on crutches and a wristband. So, my first thought is, you know, I don't want to be like those people that when JD came out which, uh, with the fractured ankle, this is what they wished him, fractured the neck and then D-I-E next and so it begins ankle first then is his knee then is his hip then is D-E-A-T-H fracture your neck next time can he fracture his neck next his heart next angel at the rich mean boys wishing Johnny Depp to get an heart attack apparently and the list goes on right so we're not gonna do that we are more interested in the fact of how come all of a sudden this woman now every time she has like something there is a literally a paparazzi reportage on her but like many pointed out already because people pay attention right they pay attention they remember so in the past when Johnny Depp was supposed to when he did all these heinous things to her basically every other week with the big rings and the stuff that you know was causing like injuries inside of reproductive organs and the bleeding and all this stuff that it's ab absolutely criminal right nothing no medical report no pictures nothing we got some pimples right some makeup and pimples but that's it but now we got like ah scratch on the finger reportage 73 pictures just in case we miss it so i don't know honestly how, how true this is obviously like i said i don't wish anybody harm but people are suspicious and they're right because it's not unusual to hire a pr campaign you know a pr company to get momentum especially when in few months this new movie which is going to be in 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes whatever minutes is going to come out she seems pretty cheerful and happy that she got recognized so yeah i don't know exactly if you know maybe that you just fell or something and you just using the the let's say remembering that JD got a lot of support because he was injured and, and she goes like oh, I'm gonna do the same now that I can you know today I got a little sore so that we garnered a little bit of uh, sympathy and the fact is some of you pointed out what you see here uh, at the end on the left side of the picture that says mega copyright of mega uh, some of you send me a message showing me that this is actually um, a company a PR company that uh, you can pay right and they do professional uh, photo shoot or articles or whatnot and they put you basically in the cycle of all these web magazines which by now you know that as soon as you you say something about it, then all the all those trash magazine they pick it up they rearrange it they put some kind of weird spin on it or they flat out lie altogether and uh, that's how it, what it's happening so like i would say here thanks to shakib ahmed i hope i'm pronouncing this correctly that posted on his instagram uh what did i tell you to keep in the news i shall grab the crutches and walk timidly don't you feel sorry for me the pr spin is in motion the next step getting a headline in a major publication so he's sharing this because as you can see there is more articles coming out here in entertainment amber heard scene with crutches in madrid following her reprisal in aquaman 2. um you get here pink villa it's kind of yeah you make of this web magazine what you want honestly so all the reashed stuff about 2015 whether or not johnny depp was jealous that ah might have had sex with channing tatum and leonardo dicaprio honestly i wouldn't be surprised if leonardo considering she was uh, uh she was 25 in 2015 i don't know maybe he dipped his toes into the water right i wouldn't be surprised at all and also trash publication like this public rallies behind amber h leaves johnny depp in the dust uh this magazine called colopy 
this magazine should be called colonoscopy because that's uh, the place it belongs to and yeah i mean it's untrue actually we have seen um debunked the also the new documentary that was completely biased because created by the end most likely of a toxic feminist which was still trying to endear AH to a newer public that was not aware of everything that we have seen trying to claim that social media decided right and there was like the humiliation of a woman that you know what's on and so forth and we should be ashamed of ourselves that we let that happen basically when in fact people just noticed and read and watched her actually being the best witness for Johnny Depp when she was on the stand and opened her mouth and all of us that actually went through hours of audio to find out what was the dynamic of their relationship I've said this so many times if this was a man right that was found to have defamed the girlfriend and also through the audio we realized who was the abuser I'm telling you there will be no freaking female feminist trying to spin a different narrative because those toxic feminists they're trying to gaslight you and me and they're master at that and every time already women they're great because of survival instinct in manipulating right they have an advantage when it comes to distort you know a story and to win an argument so to speak but when it becomes toxic you see all these freaking toxic feminists trying to like tiptoe around something and then oh but if you look at from this angle and the light is hitting right there at the top that third with 32 flies on top it's so beautiful isn't it and even you can almost feel the fragrance of roses so they tried to you know spin the narrative in that direction and we are totally fed up with this shit and that's why we still fight because you realize you have to offer a voice of resistance uh, opposing this trying to when it's convenient to a certain like group of activists or whatever to believe in their narrative they go full on and they manipulate the reality they try to create all kinds of delusional take about something to endear a newer audience to make this person look like better than she is right just because it, it goes in line with their agenda and they have to push their agenda so i'm tired of it because it really shows how little trust you can have in all those organizations or, or in those type of individuals which they rarely behind each other luckily they are not many uh, but it shows you how your mind can be polluted when you embrace a toxic you know belief so anyway here we have whether or not age she's been injured or not you know we honestly i like I said, I don't care particularly much because I don't wish anybody harm. It's more interesting to see that this is what they're doing. Uh, director was Craven was blackmailed into casting Johnny Depp into actors debut film. So this is what you see. You see, like on one hand, you see like A H being portrayed in a, a positive light. And uh, anyway, this like this magazine is absolute trash, uh, and mostly they just do lie and i i i'm gonna go on a limb here uh probably it's like i don't know some indian web magazine and they're for hire so literally you can probably pay them and they can write whatever you want it's probably literally the fiverr of web magazines that some pr agency is like okay we're gonna do this and gonna spread misinformation and rumors so this is the trash you get of that but anyway guys let me know your thoughts on this I went a little bit on a rant here and there please subscribe i know i'm tired too but like i said you gotta fight otherwise a lot of this shit can just keep growing and then like web magazines and mainstream media they see that there is no reaction they get away with it we're tired of this crap anyway like the video share it talk to you later ciao